guys, in this video I am going to be building a DIY diffuser. I bought a bunch of foam from a, kind of a craft store online and the idea is I'm going to cut it up into blocks and build a skyline diffuser. And the idea will be for it to be light enough to lift up and down from a windowsill because in my recording room there is a windowsill directly behind the listening position and you can't really treat a window, you know. I had considered maybe building some kind of a plexiglass diffuser, but um, the, the price, the costs involved would, would have been huge. So yeah, Skyline diffuser it is. I think I have enough foam to build two of them, but we'll just show them, I'll just show myself building one for now. Enjoy. Right, so the plan so far is I've set up this little rig, if I can show you. You can get hot wire cutters, which are like one single wire. That um, would probably be a lot better for this, but they're very expensive, like over a hundred quid for one. So I got this small wand type cutter, and I can achieve essentially the same thing with that and a bit of wood, some screws and some clamps. So I have the wand cutter attached to the table and the center point marked on the table. Then this piece of wood is clamped down and can be moved over. Right now it's positioned 50 millimeters from the cutter so I can run, thing, run the foam through it and get a 50 millimeter cut. Then I can move it over to 100, then over to 150, etc. So that's the plan. So I'm just going to cut lengthways along these big pieces of foam to get 15 millimeter thick strips, which I can then cut down to the correct lengths for the rest of the diffuser. Important to note is you should do this in a very well ventilated area because there are some serious fumes. So yeah. Let's get started, I'll just do a few on camera and then cut the rest. Right, so hopefully that looked okay. It took absolutely ages, uh, way longer than I thought it would. But now I have a ridiculously huge amount of fairly regular sized, even blocks that are, you know, long. So now the plan is to cut these down to size. Let's get started with that. So, according to my plan, you can see this, uh, the three or four sizes I need is 5 centimeter, 10 centimeter, 15 and 20. So we're going to start with the biggest size to try and avoid too much wastage. So we're going to move this board the guide board over so that the distance between the board and the cutting tool <coughs> will be 20 centimeters and then we need uh, for one diffuser it says 15 pieces so I'm gonna try and build two so I'll cut 30 of them and we'll see how that goes Okay. 
Alright, so that is the first punch finished. So now I need to readjust my table and do the 15 centimeter ones. And there's a dog. <laughs> Good boy. Anyway. Right, so that is 80 15 centimeter pieces done. So that took absolutely ages. But it'll all be worth it, I assume, blindly. So now we just need to set up the 10 centimeter section, or 10 centimeters on the, the cutting thingy, cutting wand. I don't know what you'd even call it, to be honest. And then we need to do 38 by 2 is what? Uh, 76 pieces, which are 10 centimeters. So, let's get started. And that is all the 10 centimeter pieces, which wasn't quite as bad as the last few, even though there seems to be more of it. Or, well no, there'd be less than the last bunch. So now I just need to set up the 5 centimeter cuts, do that, and then we're ready to glue. Right, so that is all of the pieces cut and ready to be stuck together. Whew, that was a lot of work. So now I just need to follow the guide, glue it all together and it should be okay. It should be finished then. Alright, so when working with styrofoam, you have to be careful with what glue you use because a lot of glues will melt it, especially like sprays or things with heavy solvents in them. So I've chosen to go with PVA glue. It's supposed to be washable and water soluble, but I don't think that's going to be a problem because the, the diffuser is going to be in the studio room, so it's not actually going to have any opportunity to get wet. So now I just have to follow the guide that I downloaded. Um, zero points are going to be blank and I'll fit a piece of foam to the back of the diffuser after I've finished. And the rest are just labelled 1, 2, 3, 4 based on the lengths that I've cut. So get started with that.
Okay, so I've just realized that the main thing I've accomplished now is uh, I've glued a bunch of them to the table, foolishly. So I'm going to try and transfer them onto a piece of cardboard, which will now be the backing plate of it. If I can do it without completely destroying the work of the so hard. Which is kind of unlikely. We'll give it a shot. Right, that wasn't the easiest thing I've ever done, but it seems to have worked fairly well. Uh, let's get this board out of the way soon. Yeah, I think I should have started this way. I should have been gluing them to a back plate all along. It would have been much easier. Probably less glue as well. So yeah, we'll, we'll continue on this way now. And hopefully it'll work out a bit better. Should be able to dry overnight and be ready for tomorrow. Right, so there it is so far. Um, came together well in the end. I don't like the fact that it has cardboard at the back of it. Um, I wanted it all to be blue or, well, I wanted it all to be uniform, so I'm thinking I might paint it. Um, I did a quick tester on a bit of cardboard and a small off cut and it looks pretty good so I'll just paint it all grey using some paint I had left over from doing some walls so that's the next deal
And there you have it, although that's a terrible shot because it's kind of blocked by the light behind us from the window, but that's where I'm going to be putting it. It's because that's directly behind the listening position in the room. I'll just lift it off so you can see it a bit better. There we go. One fully functional foam block diffuser. The paint turned out pretty good. It could probably use another layer, but um, I want to save the paint to make sure I can build the second one because I was planning on building two. And it already makes a difference in the room. Not a huge difference or anything, but every little helps, and it will make my recordings sound better. So, thanks for watching, please like and subscribe, and check back to watch me build more nonsense. <laughs>